Hi everybody, Dr. Stephen Hussey here from ResourceYourHealth.com. In this video, I want to talk about why I don't recommend a vegan diet. Um, so recently on Instagram, I got into a friendly uh, debate uh, with a plant-based uh, organization, uh, and I was just sharing information. But it made me think that maybe I should, you know, post this and share it with uh, others. Um, so in the in the debate, you know, on the other side, they were saying that we can live a healthy lifestyle without killing animals. Uh, and I, and especially, you know, raising animals in the way that we do in a concentrated animal feeding operation. And I totally get that point of view. And I do not support, uh, you know, our industrial agriculture um, of, with animals and concentrated animal feeding operations. Uh, that is not a good way for animals to live. Uh, it's unethical. Uh, and I think that, the, I mean, ultimately the product that comes from that is not good for us either uh, from a health standpoint. Um, so I definitely get that. However, um, plant agriculture in this country uh, is uh, just as problematic. Uh, it, the amount of uh, herbicides, pesticides, toxic chemicals that we use on our plants uh, are um, contributing to uh, environmental um, toxicity, uh, our toxicity uh, of us. It's um, the way that we um, uh, plant the foods over and over in the same fields is depleting the soil. Uh, some of the herbicides we put on the plants are depleting the soil of nutrients. Uh, the runoff into the rivers is completely um, toxifying the rivers. Uh, and so uh, we're, we're, we pretty much have dead soil um, in you know, our, our agriculture belt in the middle of the United States. Uh, and the only reason that we're able to keep growing is because of chemical fertilizers. If we didn't have those, um, then I don't think we'd be able to uh, produce the amount of food that we produce. And those chemical fertilizers are, are um, come from oil, uh, or uh, and so once we run out of oil at some point in the future, um, then the way the current way of producing plant foods in this country is unsustainable. Uh, but the bottom line is, uh, well, I guess the other thing about um, agriculture is that lots of animals are actually killed in the clearing and protecting of land for farming. Uh, so, you know, if you want to say you don't want to kill animals, but you're eating the plants from that industrial agriculture, uh, you actually are killing animals in that process. But the bottom line is, is that um, living things uh, on this earth uh, have been uh, killing other living things uh, since life on this planet has existed. And death uh, is a natural part of life. It's an essential part of an ecosystem uh, because the thing that a living thing is made up of is what's going to feed the next living thing in the next generation. Um, so that's just kind of how it works. So for living things to continue to survive, other living things have to die. Um, and unfortunately, uh, humans have made their lives uh, pretty easy uh, in that we don't have to see this death on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't have to see the fact that we have to kill things in order to eat other things uh, and that plants eat animals. Um, you know, the, the nutrients that uh, an animal uh, uh, puts into the soil when it dies, the plant eats and uses that. And the nutri nutritious, uh, the uh, nutrient quality of our plants depends on replacing those nutrients in the soil. Uh, and that's like this circle of life, cycle of life, uh, this ecosystem um, part of thing. But humans have kind of divorced themselves from that death on a day-to-day -day basis, um, but it's part of life. And so we've become almost so uncomfortable with death that we, that lots of people choose to do extreme things like not eat animals at all. And yes, I do believe that is an extreme thing to do uh, because most of the time when people go vegan, they feel good for a, um, a little while because they're p paying attention to diet more. They're eating more uh, nutrient-dense uh, foods, uh, eating more, uh, getting more anti-inflammatory anti plant compounds, uh, so they feel pretty good. Um, but over time, uh, they will become deficient in certain nutrients, uh, and those nutrients are... Uh, some amino acids, uh, omega-3 fats, which are very anti-inflammatory, uh, many of the B vitamins, uh, the fat-soluble vitamins that come in uh, animal uh, sources of fat, uh, collagen protein, which we can really only get from animals, uh, which is the building block of your uh, skin and nails and your connective tissue. Um, and so we may be able to, I mean, many, lots of plants have uh, those compounds in them, but because of the way our digestion is set up, we're not able to efficiently extract them uh, like, uh, like some other animals should be. So like a gorilla, uh, it's this big strong animal, uh, but it has a very long digestive system. So it can break down those plants and extract many more nutrients than we can from plants. Uh, whereas a wolf, 
uh, is pretty much uh, total carnivore. Uh, so they have a very uh, short digestive system because they can extract a lot of nutrients from that uh, and they don't need it to be digesting for very long. We're somewhere in the middle, we're kind of an omnivore. Um, so our digestive system is not um, super efficient at extracting things from plants, uh, but we still do need plants and we still do need um, animal products. Um, so the point being is that we may be able to live on plants. Uh, we can definitely live for a long time on plants, uh, but I don't think we'll be able to thrive or be as healthy as we could be. Um, obviously, obviously, there's some genetic variation. Uh, we all vary a little bit. Uh, our microbiomes are different, so our ability to digest certain things may be better than others. Uh, but I don't think that eating plants alone will, will get you to uh, vibrant health. Now, because death is necessary, uh, and like I said, uh, living things have to die in order for other living things to survive uh, and keep going, then I think that because of the status of human beings on this planet and how many of us there are and how um, uh, big our brains are and how smart we are, that we have a responsibility to the animals that we do choose to eat uh, to give them a, uh, the highest quality life that we can. That means feeding them a natural diet. That means giving them, um, you know, free range and the most natural lifestyle that uh, it, you know is um, uh, that they have or they should have, uh, and also um, slaughtering them in a humane way where there's no suffering, where it's an instant death uh, kind of situation. I think that you know that is the the way forward. Um, I also think that um, as far as plant agriculture, we need to do that in a sustainable way too. And so that, you know, organic and permaculture are kind of the best ways, but wild foods, um, you know, harvesting wild foods if you can, growing your own garden in your backyard is a very sustainable way to get high quality plant foods. Um, but we have to think about uh, the sustainability of how we um, raise animals and plants. Um, the, you know, a sustainable way um, to raise an animal is to grass feed it, feed it its natural diet, and the regenerative properties that it has to the soil when we do that is incredible. Uh, and the work of the Savory Institute goes into this quite a bit, and it shows you how we can restore um, health to the soil and to the land uh, by doing uh, this grass feeding of animals uh, that we raised uh, for food. Um, so just like anything, uh, I think that we uh, humans have a tendency to view things in a very binary way. You know, it's black or white. We should eat animals or we shouldn't. You know, we want to have that decision so that we can follow that and it's easy. Uh, but things are not so black and white. Uh, and so we have to realize that our food choices um, have more than an impact on our health, but also on the environment um, and uh, socioeconomic status, all kinds of things. Uh, the, the things that we do... Uh, every day, eating three times a day, we can vote three times a day um, to uh, have a better world. Uh, and I think that's very, very important. So if you like this video, please like or share it. Uh, otherwise, stay healthy out there.